Okay, guess we're doing just fine. Said I'm not yours, so I see. Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Watch's video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing a review on Kodama. Kodama is currently in the Lost Paradise Maze Island. And uh, Social Point gave me enough cells and enough resources to feed this monster up and review it for you guys. And after I'm done, I have to sell the monster just like always. So just to clarify, this is social. This is um, given to me by Social Point. They sponsored this. Um, I cannot win any PvP battles because that won't be fair. I just have to make the video showcase it to you guys i could even take it to friendly battles and you know battle against you guys and stuff like that but i cannot win few battles and i have to sell it later on just letting you guys know so kodama is you can get it in the lost paradise maze aside from that let's go ahead and craft this monster here we go so it's basically a balloon monster the balloon uh before i actually do that um i just remembered i need space so i'm gonna have to sell hardy and I also need the runes. This was one of the monsters that I reviewed as well. It's given to me by social points. So I have to sell it unfortunately. Uh, because it won't be fair to keep it. Aside from that. 50 gems. Here we go. Koldama is ready. This is what the monster looks like. Of course let's go ahead and hatch it. And 35 gems. Yes. Cool. So I have two rune slots open. The past four monsters I believe. I've had two rune slots open. I mean at least it's not three locked or something you know or two locked whatever um so this is what the monster looks like i think wait he's a cda monster right i if i remember correctly he's a cda monster and he could also possess i might be wrong hold on uh let's see here let's check so what is his ultimate he can possess he can activate cooldown what about his skills um okay so before we you know feed him up i'm gonna name him balloon head MG. So you're gonna look at the evolving trade. He has immune to poison at rank zero, which is level 100. And honestly, that's not really too good. Uh, but here's the thing: resurrection block blocks all resurrection skills. So for example, uh, what's that monster name? Miserus, right? And a few others that could resurrect. Well, if you're gonna use this monster and he has this trait and it's not trait disabled or whatever, they can't really resurrect because of this trait, which is really good. Immune to torture. Wait, block immune to Oh, never mind. Okay, I was about to say, I thought it said block immune to torture, but it's immune to torture. Um, so basically, it gives immunity to torture effects, burn, ignite, poison, blade, nightmares, etc, etc. Uh, it's a really good trait. I love it. Um, well, it's not really a trait, actually. It's a status caster, so it could get removed, unfortunately. But other than that, resurrection block, that's kind of good. Immune to poison, not, not so good. I recommend getting this monster to rank 1 if you can, because of the resurrection block. But if it's a rank 0, it means a poison. I don't know about that. Anyways, with that being said, here we go. Level 7. Um, we're actually going to review all the skills once we get this monster to level 100. So that is what the final form of this monster looks like. For those of you that don't know how to feed the monster, how I'm doing it right now without any skills popping up, you have to go over to the settings. There's an option where it says ignore new skills unlocked or whatever it's called. Make sure to check that. And uh, then you can freely feed your monsters without that popping up. Aside from that, here are the stats for level 100 Kodama. Okay? We're going to go ahead and take a look at the skills before we actually rune him. So, Soul Eater. Or, sorry, I said Soul Eater. Soul Eater. <laughs> Low nature damage to all enemies activities. Cooldown on all enemies. Uh, once again, I like all uh, having like... If it's a CDA, especially if it's a CDA or multiple enemies, like a AoE skill, I love having it on my third slot. But let's see what else we have. Shadow Shield applies immunity to torture to... Oh, torture immunity to all allies. Cool. Okay. Um, Sure, we could uh, have that for now. Let's see what else we have. Activate cooldown on one enemy, applies poison. Two turn cooldown, poison, four turns, and 66 stamina cost. Let's see what else we have. So, low nature damage to all enemies applies poison to all enemies. That's the death tree. Uh, Noxious Demons is a moderate special damage to all enemies applies nature weakness and applies daze. That's actually a pretty good skill. Um, applies torture immunity to itself, applies immunity to control to itself. So here's the thing with this skill. If you're going to run it, make sure he's only at level 100. If, if you have him to rank 1, no, not rank 1, rank 3. If you have him to rank 3, you don't really need this um, unless you just want to go for the uh, with the immune to control because you're going to have to torture immunity at the beginning of the battle anyways. So you don't really have to apply it. The dead tree is a one turn cooldown and, you know, it's a low nature damage that applies poison. This is an AoE cooldown that's a spammable sort of. 
this is a spammable so if you hit if you get hit with cda well that's it's not a problem because you can go ahead and you know uh use this and you can continue spamming him as as long as you have the stamina so here's the thing i love having two cda on uh, two cda um skills but since this one's only to one right and this is a sort of like a spamble skill uh so if i get hit with cda which i'm pretty sure i will when i battle um because there's gonna be players using gaidigo and a couple others so i'm gonna have to swap this with that um the the single target isn't really that bad it's good you can use it against wormlight for example if let's say you're going up against dodge areas right you can use the single cooldown but i want to go with this because i love the spamble skills um you just have to have stamina if as long as they don't drain all your stamina you should be able to go with that and that should be good um so the nature weakness you know you could apply that with the days that will reduce their power and accuracy so next turn you can do a ton of damage with uh this skill or even this one um so in the beginning you always want to go ahead and hit them with tda um so applies torture immunity to all allies yeah the torture immunity skill is could come in handy actually since it's to all allies so if you're gonna go up against monsters like uh quaxel croc and a couple others that could apply all those sorcerers well th there it goes so 25 gems to unlock that here we go so he is a controller not really controller he applies cdas and stuff right so basically he's a cda type of monster um i would recommend running maybe full speed on him what do you guys think full speed would be a good choice here what about two speed and one strength? Kind of want to go with that as well because you do want to make him go first, right? So here's the thing, he's not an attacker or anything, right? But it's good to have that spamble skill so you can um, do some damage when someone hits you with CDA. But again, if you're going to run him full speed, um, another good skill to use would be Toxic Rate over Unknown World, okay? Um, other than that, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and give him full speed. So full speed, I'm going to give him a level 10 speed rune. Let's see what else I have here. Level 9, and then I think I have a level 7 or 8. Okay, 10, 9, 8. <laughs> cool. So for the relics, you can hold an amulet and also a mask. For the mask, I have Yoltron's mask that will work out perfectly. Uh, so you can drain stamina, you can also gain shield. In case you're in danger. Shares as amulet. I mean these are the only two diamond amulets that I have. So why not? Let's go ahead and do it. So basically after damaging with a skill of where his life is built above 50% it deals 8,600 points of damage. Um, it is a level 30 shares as amulet I believe. So that's cool. Uh, what I'll do is go over to adventure map and let's test it out here. You guys ready? Here we go. So let's go ahead and fight. The monster takes the first turn. Um, I am going to go ahead and hit him with CDA. Oh, that's cool. I like that effect. That effect is so cool. That effect was pretty cool. I like that. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and hit him with stun as well. I mean, they already had CDA, but just to make sure because um, some old nemesis monsters... Um, what's it called? Some old nemesis monsters, uh, they have zero cooldown skills. Let's see, deals a moderate nature damage to one enemy. So this is that one sample skill. So if you get hit with CDA, right? Um, you can go on and use it. But in this case, I didn't get hit with CDA. It's just that my stamina was low. All right, so turn lost, turn lost. Now here's the thing. Um, what's it called? I have enough stamina, right? To do it again, one more turn. So let's go ahead and hit him with that. Cool. I'm gonna go with this, bam. All right, so days and we could charge up. Let's see what he's gonna do. He went for him. Okay, perfect. So I know you're not gonna be seeing many monsters on PvP that will apply poison to you, especially like if, if you're, you're not gonna see a Nadial the, the Forester or or not the Forester. I know I pronounced it wrong, but you won't be seeing Nadials on PvP and stuff like that um, a lot, right? Too often. But I just wanted to showcase the poison there. So, the poison right there. 
Um, it's not really the best trait to have, but it really... Mm, it's like one of those bottom tier traits, I'd say. So I applied Nature Weakness. Take a look at this. I'm going to go ahead and give him no more failure, so I have some stamina as well. Full stamina. Um, in this case, I could give Immune to Torture to my allies. So then if he tries applying Ignite, blah blah blah, Poison, it won't really land. Um, so I could also activate cooldown him, or I could just go with this, do some damage, and then after that, maybe gives immune to torture. So if he tries to land anything, so there we go, his stamina kicked in. See, look, poison blocked because of the immune to torture. Anyways, with that being said, let's go ahead and rank up Balloon Head. Here we go. Rank up 25 gems. Go to feed. This is when you unlock resurrection block, which I recommend everyone getting this monster to uh, this rank because it's really good. Resur resurrection block could come in handy, especially if you're going to go up against Miseris and that one monster that could apply self dodge area. I forgot his name. I literally reviewed him. Um, it was a couple of weeks ago or so, or even a month ago. I don't know. It was in a maze. Someone let me know in the comments. I forgot the name of it. Um, but with that being said, I kind of want to test him out on PvP and now he, that he's uh, rank 1. Uh, and I think he can compete against the uh, league that I'm in. I'm pretty sure he can. Okay, so he should be taking the first turn with the team speeds that I have and stuff. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's the monster that I was talking about. What is his name? Uh, Lonrad, Lonrad. Yes, okay, I remember it. Let's go ahead and hit him with that CDA. So, they're hit with the CDA. You can also stand a drain him if you're if you have Eldritch's mask. Once again, um, now that I have hit him with TDA, I don't really have to. You, you can literally just attack with your attackers, right? That this part really depends on your attackers. But let's just keep him alive just a little bit. But I do want to take down the. Um, let's take down this monster. I don't want to take down Lonrad because. If he tries resurrecting, which he can't actually do that because of my trait, resurrection block, that is a great showcase right there. So I could nature weakness some, or I could just do this. So let's say if she hit me with TDA, I could have used that skill. All my other allies would have had to charge up, except him, of course. I'm gonna go ahead and charge up. She charged up as well. I do want Lonrad to do something. Come on. It's, that's one of the... wait, that's not the correct skill, is it? I don't think that's a correct skill. Uh, anyways, well, I could um, apply me to torture real quick. And charge up. Charge up again. These monsters, the stamina drain. It's hitting them hard. Okay, he charged up again. He can resurrect. <laughs> he really can't resurrect because of my trait. So yeah, you can just take the advantage and destroy them in this case. Uh, so yeah, you guys get the point. The resurrection block could come in handy in most cases. So definitely not a bad monster. I could see him um, being used in the future, you know, or sometime soon, like against the metas and stuff. But um, I don't think it's too overpowered. At rank 2, you don't unlock anything. You just get him up for his stats. You level him up for his stats, basically, just above his stats. Here are the... Stats with the runes and without the runes, by the way, in case you're wondering. And now I can finally rank this bad boy up to rank 3. Here we go, break it out, break it out, and rank up. 25 gems, go to feed. So this is when you unlock Immune to Torture, which is rank 3. Alright, let's go ahead and get it to 130, just like that. And here are the stats with the runes and without the runes. And with the speed runes that I have, 16,268 speed. Um, I'm going to do a testing against my teammate uh, at rank 3, actually. Or actually, hmm, uh, we can save it for 150, okay? Let's continue testing it on PvP, okay? Let's see if we're going to go up against any... Oh, okay. Hmm, this may be a problem. I can't hit him with TDA. I can only hit this monster with TDA. Um, I could damage him or... Apply nature weakness just to the taunt monster though. But in this case, you know what? I'll just go on a damage. So damage it is. And then I'll try taking him down with cat UFO or so close to that. And then hit him again with that zero cooldown skill. 
cool. Let's go ahead and let Corruptus go. Haunted Mind. Uh, that was Corruption. So let's say if I uh, applied, what is it called? Immune to Torture, I think? Wait, does Immune to Torture get Immune to Possession? I don't think it does, right? I have to check real quick. Let me see. Uh, it does not. No, it does not. Okay, just making sure. He tried hitting him with CDA, but it didn't work because of dodge areas. Okay, um... One tap, so one tap. Let's get rid of them real quick. 37,000 damage. And let's charge up. Blades of Nightmares. Applied Nightmares. So if I had my one skill, that immune to torture, that Nightmare wouldn't have landed. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to leave this battle before I actually win it. Because it won't be fair if I do win it. Um, and anyways, that right there is a rank 3 balloon head. A.K.A. What is it? What's his name? I forgot his name. I know it starts with K. I just forgot his name. <laughs> uh, rank 4. I'm going to show you guys his stats real quick. Okay. So here we go. Uh, Koldama. Koldama is his name. Okay. Koldama. Uh, 140. Here are the stats, for those of you wondering. And finally, rank 5. We're going to do a couple of testing on rank 5. For those of you that are going to get this monster to rank 5 fully, I'm going to show you guys the stats and also take them to battle and um, basically test it out. But yeah, here are the stats, for those of you wondering. Um, yeah, that's that. Oh, that's cool. Look, 10,096 speed. And with the runes that I'm giving, 10,096 speed. <laughs> that's so cool let me say this it's literally the same amount uh but yeah with that being said we're gonna go ahead and test him out on pvp not pvp sorry friendly battles let's go ahead and change the team we're gonna get rid of this monster we're gonna give we're gonna use a better attacker cat ufo sure uh we could use him as a reviver reviver if um that's needed Cat UFO, you know what? We're gonna swap the relics here. Cat UFO, I need you to take the Zyron's Ascent instead. And then, of course, we need our CDA monster, which is Kodama. And cool, alright. Let's go ahead and request a battle. Let's see if anyone's going to accept. Okay, let's see. Alright, um, what could I showcase in here against these monsters? Hmm. None of them could resurrect. None of them could... Oh, he could apply torture. Yeah. So let's hit him with the CDA. Although he's taking all the incoming damage. So he has CDA now. He, he has to recharge. Um, What I'll do next is go with this. Smells like fish spirit. 59,000 HP. So in this case, I'm going to have to charge up. I have immune to torture. So if, you, if they try to hit me with burn, ignite, poison, and other stuff, um, I won't really take that so let's see what's gonna happen oh he literally wants to have to <laughs> that's how powerful it is a 123 versus a 150 he gets otk right away what are the runes oh look at the runes he has 41,000 strength keep in mind okay keep that in mind it's a one f um he has 41k power that's why so he gives damage boost was that why, did, why would you give double damage to him? I'm gonna go on and resurrect. Okay. So luckily, we're not going up against another Koldama. So the resurrection won't be blocked. But yeah, the fact that he has resurrection block. You know what that means, Wormlad? Yikes. Okay. Uh, we could go ahead and finish him off. Bam. Alright. And let's see what's gonna happen here. To the fire ring. So that's when Eelchon's mask kicks in and helps me out. So I can hit them with TDA. Um, unless he's, he has a zero cooldown skill. Okay, he does. I was about to say, I would have survived that if uh, he had to charge up. But uh, what could we do here? Total damage reduction them? Sure. I'm going to lose this anyways. I think. I have your last and one more use remaining. So let's see what's gonna happen here. Maybe I could change up my team. Use a different team or something. Like instead of um, instead of using whatever attacker I use, Cat UFO, I could use a different attacker and try to win. 
which I'm pretty sure I can. So in this case, I can't really do much. I'll, you know what? Since I'm going to lose anyway, since I'm going to die, instead of restarting your dream or whatever, it won't really be useful. Look at the turns on top. I'm just going to go ahead and do the damage. So I could go ahead and apply Sunburn to him, or a Mist actually, because of Hardened. So he, he just dies, he comes back again. Look at the turns on top, I'm still going to lose this because he just gave him double damage, or damage boost. Now he has... What's his power? I wonder what his power is now. So yeah, there we go. There goes that. GG's. Um, maybe I could test it out in PvP now, or maybe a different player on my team. Let's see. Let's go on a request. Let's see if anyone's going to accept it. I'm sure they're going to accept it. Um, yeah, that's the team. Alright, let's go on a fight. Who is it? Alright. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So he's using an armor. He's using Worm Lad and Moon Haze. So I could go ahead and quickly CDA those two. And accept, uh, accept Worm Lad. Keep in mind. In real battle, when you're going to go up against, if it's a 150 versus another 150, it won't be this easy. Okay, the damage output won't be this strong, just letting you guys know. But anyways, Balloon Head. Um, unfortunately, I have zero stamina because I think he's running Eeltron's Mask. Yeah, he is. Okay, um, I could go and hit them with Nature Weakness. So, Armor Claw is hit with Nature Weakness now, right? Next turn, I could go ahead and hit him with that Nature Skill and do a ton of damage. So let's see, Moon Haze taking the next turn, oof, Shatter the Lantern, unfortunately I have stun now, he doesn't have stun immunity unfortunately, which kind of sucks, but what we can do is either restart a dream, or, yeah, we could restart a dream, I think that's the best thing to do here, um, Arm Armor Claw is just going to use Remember to Subscribe, he doesn't have any stamina, unless he gains stamina somehow, okay, he hit Remember to Subscribe, Remember, fire versus nature. <laughs> Unknown world. It missed. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and hit him with perfect attack. And in this case, I have blind precision mixed. So that's a, what, 25% accuracy for me. Um, in that case, I hit him with that nature skill. Missed. You're so lucky. It's okay because remember, this is a spamble skill. So we get a second turn. Yes, second turn worked. So lucky. Uh, and then hit him with that and GG's. Alright, cool. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today's review. Make sure you're subscribed and you have notifications on because soon I'll be doing a review on Black Feather. Thanks to Social Point once again for sponsoring this, giving me enough resources, enough cells. I'm going to have to sell the monster later on. I cannot keep it because it won't be fair. But yeah, I just wanted to review it for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.